Hi, I'm Mike Nickerson from the Department of Food and Bioproduct Sciences at the University of Saskatchewan. Today I want to talk to you about how we measure water holding and oil holding capacities. Now these properties of the protein are really important because it tells us a lot about how it behaves and how it can help mouthfeel or texture of the food products or for its use as a binder. So water holding capacity is basically how much water uh, per gram a protein can hold. And conversely, oil holding capacity is how much oil one gram of protein can hold. But let's see how we measure it. Let's demonstrate. For this test, we will need a balance, a vortex, and a centrifuge. Weigh one gram of protein powder into a pre-weighted centrifuge tube. Then add 10 grams of water to the tube. Remember to put the cap on the tube before vortexing. Next, vortex the mixture for 10 seconds every 5 minutes for a 30 minute total holding time, making sure the material is thoroughly wetted. Next, centrifuge for 15 minutes at 1000 times G. The extra tubes within the centrifuge are placed there for balance. Once complete, decant the supernatant and record the weight of the tube plus the pellet. Water holding capacity is calculated as the wet sample weight minus the dry sample weight divided by the dry sample weight. For oil holding capacity, repeat all of the same steps except use oil rather than water.